Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I forgot to do the introduction before we got to the job. So sorry about that. Anyway, we had a house to do today. We did screens, track sills, inside and outside glass. Um, we got some footage of the water fed pole work and we got some footage of using the zero screen washer. So come check it out and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Later. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So we got all the holes reeled out. Now it's gonna go grab our zero ultimate because this pole is sick. See, I leaned the brush on something, so it looks like crap, but these brushes are sick. The Tucker Hybrid. If you don't have one, just get one. You'll thank me later. like the camera but when you're marrying me you don't have a choice so I'll find you I will look for you I will find you and there she is <laughs> so now we set up our screen cleaner I'm gonna do the screen since she's on the inside taking care of the uh, track sills and the inside glass teamwork makes the dream work Infinite power, Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, show you something, and I think you should do this on all of your equipment, all of your um, whatever water-fed, you know, systems you're using, any tanks, any, uh, you know, if you're using the Zero, if you're using the Unger, even with your screen cleaners, make everything quick connects. Quick connects. You save yourself time, okay? So, like, look at this. My screen cleaner, all right? Quick connects. You don't have to break your back, bending over, tightening stuff. You have your one hose that you're already using the water off of. You have your one spigot. 
right? That should be the only one that you really have to bend down and tighten. Have that hose run off a quick connect for everything. So when I go from my screen cleaner to my DI tank, it's just one simple click, click, okay? When you're using your screen cleaner, this isn't mine, this is my customer's, but have a rubber mat to tap the screens off on. So you're not tapping them off on the blacktop. This rubber mat, I'm going to Home Depot after I leave here and I'm getting myself a rubber floor mat. And I'm gonna put that next to the screen cleaner every time I'm using it. And that's what I'm tapping off. I see some guys tapping it off on buckets and stuff like that, but I don't know. The rubber mat feels really good. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So that's it for today, guys. Once again, sorry about uh, forgetting the intros and outros, but uh, we got plenty of work coming up. The schedule, schedule's packed. And uh, yeah, so that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Look at all those ducks. Hey, duck. They don't want to be friends. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if watching Joe soothes your soul, check out his YouTube channel at Window Joe.